So in this activity, you're focusing on paint application and cross contour. So applying the paint in the direction of that contour. You're also focusing on or linking back in that learning that you did in the last lesson where we looked at color mixing and color matching because you still want to get those colors accurate. So we're looking at creating the illusion of form where appropriate or replicating the um, paint direction that is in the image. So in this particular image, you can see that the colors are, the shapes are quite flat. There is some range in tone. So there is some lights and dark. So what you need to do is just follow the direction of the edge of the shape, okay? So I'll just go in and quickly mix up my color again so I can see from my record from the last lesson that I used the burnt sienna and the raw sienna and some ultramarine blue. So I'm just going to get those colors ready. onto my palette. So again, just linking back to the last lessons learning, putting a little bit of the paint. Just be aware of the quantity. Don't need to put too much out, especially when you're just doing a small area. Onto the edge of the palette. So these are your ink, your paint wells ready to go. I'm going to be doing these shapes here that have that color in them. And I can kind of look at the range of tone in there as well. So the lights and the darks might be done. You might be able to create the lights by adding a little bit more water or a little bit more of a lighter color like white or like the yellow um, or the, the raw sienna as well. Okay, so just playing around with the lights and the darks, the darker tones of this um, color, you might add a little bit more ultramarine as well. So just looking within that area, within that shape that you're going to paint, is there different tones of that color as well? So you can see that the page might be a little bit, is quite small. So that is to challenge you. It may, sorry, the shapes are a little bit small. So that's just there to challenge you a little bit more. So just mixing up my color as much as I can. Tiny little bit of the blue. Just taking the corner of my brush, dabbing off any excess. And just test my color maybe on my image here today. That looks pretty good. Now, because I've mixed, I've got quite a lot of paint on my brush. So I'm just gonna scrape off the excess onto my palette. I can use that later if I need to. Get my water pot, always holding the water pot with the other hand. You can just gently rub the brush along the edge or the bottom of the pot, tap it, and then dab it on your tissue to dry. So then if the hairs have gone a little bit funny on your brush, just use your hand, your fingers to just bring the, it together, smooth it out. These brushes are great with the straight top and the straight side, and they're quite sturdy. They don't, you know, swing on their own too much. So you've got a good bit of control with them. So just gonna take the little bit of paint onto the brush. Not too much at all. And I'm just gonna go into my shape. So looking at my reference image, I'll go with this one here. So you've got the kind of faded, image here so you don't need to worry about doing a line drawing you're just focusing on that paint application today what i'm using is literally the corner of my brush to just start off putting in the outline first take a little bit more of my paint you'll notice if your brush is too dry you'll get kind of a fluffy texture so you might just need to moisten up your brush a little bit more. I'm just gonna mix up more of my color there. Just gonna test it again. Take off my excess. forgot I can use that little excess bit that I have there already as well. So I've got my edge done so I can just finish that off, working my way down along the shape, really just with this tiny corner of the brush. This will really challenge you to strengthen your control. Then I've got the outline done so now I'm looking at the 
contour. So you might want to turn the page if it's easier for you. What I'm going to do is follow the edge of the shape. So that is the contour I'm following. So that edge of the shape, I'm just following that. I'm not kind of going all in different directions. I'm just traveling along the shape like this. The main thing is not too much paint on your brush. And then what I can do is begin to just, if I've got any areas that are a little bit thicker, then just smooth them out. Now the edges of my shape are a little bit lighter, so I'm just gonna go in a tiny bit darker in the middle. So here, make sure the color is the same as the reference image. And there we go. So really controlled paint application. Okay. Considering the color match, the tones in the color and the cross contour. Hope you guys enjoy.